Have you ever wondered if drinking coffee every day is actually harmful or if it's just a misunderstanding? To answer that, let's first understand why we feel tired. Every second you live, your body burns some stored energy called ATP, and as a product, it creates a chemical called adenosine. Inside your brain, there are receptors designed to catch adenosine, and the more they catch, the more you'll feel tired. Now here's the trick. Caffeine has a molecular shape very similar to adenosine, so in the brain, they bind to the same receptors. The difference is that caffeine, unlike adenosine, does not trigger sleepiness. Instead, it blocks adenosine receptors, and this blockage sets off a chain reaction. Increased dopamine, adrenaline release, higher heart rate, and more alertness. All of which your brain interprets as more energy. So the real question is, is drinking coffee every day actually harmful? The answer depends on when you drink it. In the morning, adenosine levels are low and your dopamine level is already high. So coffee causes only a small change in dopamine and adrenaline and blocking adenosine isn't a big issue. But as the day goes on, adenosine builds up and dopamine and adrenaline naturally drop. That means drinking coffee later, especially at night, blocks a much stronger tiredness signal and causes a bigger spike in adrenaline levels, which can interfere with sleep. So coffee can be a safe everyday drink especially if you have it about one hour after you wake up. But as the day goes on, it's better to be more cautious with coffee, especially at night. And if you're a serious coffee lover, you might also wonder why caffeine stops feeling energizing after weeks of daily use. Well, that works completely different. And if you're interested, I'll explain it in another video. So please leave a like uh, and consider subscribing.